All right, how's it going everybody? I'm doing another review here today. I'm gonna to be going over two different solar panels that I bought. Both are advertised at 100 watts. I have a Swokey panel and an All Powers panel. Got them both off of Amazon. Links in the description below. Both are around 180. I think I paid a little more for the All Powers one. Another thing to note, uh, the All Powers one came a little less well packaged than the Swokey one. And you would think, you know, you're gonna pay a little more. They package a little better. That wasn't the case, but honestly, it doesn't really that matter that much. They're both really, really good panels. They're very durable and uh, really nice and flexible panels uh, for that purpose. So I'm gonna go into a review on these, gonna do some tests and make show you guys, you know, the sizes and the dimensions and everything. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so I have both panels here. The first one we'll start with is the Swokey one. Uh, something to note about this panel is uh, the actual thickness of the panel is a little more than the, the uh, All Powers one. And uh, you can see here, Swokey right there. I think there's like some kind of item number right there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I can probably try to get you over here to see the thickness of the panel. It's a little more thick than the other one. Now with that, um, the panel itself is uh, a little more protected, but it's a lot less flexible than the uh, All Powers one, which is over here. Okay, so down here is the uh, brand there. And uh, yeah, like I said, this one's a little thinner. Uh, they're both pretty, pretty good though. I have them set up up here on my bus. If you guys wanna check that out again, there's a link over on the side. Um, but they're both pretty good. Um, they both seem to do the job well, uh, but I actually wanted to do a test to see the voltage outputs and everything. So I have my multimeter and everything so we can test that. Okay, so what I have set up here is both of the panels. I have uh, the Suoki uh, right behind the multimeter. I have both of those um, leads and uh, I have my multimeter over here. I hope you guys can see the voltage on that. Um, and then I have the all powers back there, right here. And basically I'm gonna just do the test and then we're gonna see which one outputs more. I have the sunlight on both of them equally as you can see here, so let's give it a test. All right, so this is gonna be the Swoki right here. No clouds in the sky, we have 15 point two seven volts two eight right there awesome so quickly let's move over to the all powers all right and in there and in there and that one is yielding 19.4849 all right so as we can see i spent a little more on the all powers and even though it's not as robust as the Swoki one, uh, it's definitely outputting more voltage. So that's something we can definitely see. I'm gonna come back to the Swoki quickly just to get one last confirmation on that voltage. Yeah, that one's only putting about 15 versus uh, 19 on the other one. So that's pretty good uh, tell right there that both of these panels are not, <laughs> built the same and they're not equal not all panels at that price range are created equal so that is good news right there that we have that information and uh yeah let's close with some other advice and stuff that i have for these okay guys so to close i just had some advice i wanted to give you so definitely get yourself a good multimeter this is a fluke this one cost me around a hundred dollars highly recommend it don't go to harbor freight and get a junkie one your readings are gonna be off and everything. This one has every kind of setting I could possibly need. It's got the you know AC that I could measure like a house voltage. I used pulsating DC here to check out the panels. Everything that you could possibly need. Just get it good, do, do it right the first time. Electricity is one thing you don't wanna mess up when you're doing uh, a panel assortment such as this. Uh, another thing I would recommend is when, you get it, when you're setting this up, you definitely wanna get some of these uh, connectors all panels that I've looked at so far, they're all, they all use these same modular connections, which is really convenient because they can all link together in parallel or series. Um, but yeah, they, they're pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, basically you can run your cable in there and uh, you screw it together and it creates this nice airtight seal. 
and uh, you got your negative and your positive. Positive denoted with that nice little red O-ring there. And then the positive one is the same thing. You can unscrew it, get your cable through this end, and then clamp it together right there. It's really convenient. Um, yeah, so if there's any uh, questions or anything you guys have, uh, send it in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video if there's something you, else you wanted me to do in this video that I didn't cover. Uh, just let me know. Um, please like and subscribe and let me know if you want me to review anything specific in the future. And if you're interested in this project, I'll put a link over here, same link in the beginning, um, if you want to see what I'm doing with the tour bus project here. Uh, thank you guys for watching again and have a good one.